Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about .NET Client Profile. We will learn about the need of having .NET Client Profile feature and why Microsoft stopped supporting .NET Client Profile for .NET 4.5 and onwards. To give you a quick idea about .NET Client Profile, as its name has a word in it called Client, which means that all the desktop or client applications have a tendency to use limited features. For example, if you are building a console application, there are most of the time there are chances that you will not use any ASP.NET or ASP.NET MVC features, means you do not need system.web namespace at all. In such scenarios, when you go and deploy your application, you need a smaller footprint of the deployment binaries into the client machine where destination deployment is taking place. In such scenarios, your footprint appears to be large because your .NET framework holds all the required and not required binaries in it, for example, system.web to be specific. Now, in such scenarios, when you are building your .NET applications, you can compile your project with a setting with .NET framework version and that is known as client profile. So let me show you with some of the application samples. So I have an empty console application one. If you right click, you go to properties and you choose target framework. You click on the drop down and you will see here 3.5 client profile and 4 client profile. Now .NET 3.5 and .NET 4 both supports client profile feature. And again, client profile is the smaller footprint of .NET framework for the deployment purposes on the client or desktop applications. Now, once you choose one of these features, your memory footprint and your deployment footprints will be very, very small and highly optimized. Similarly, if you go to, let's say, a Windows form application and you want to see the settings for that, you will see in the properties, there is also an option for client profile for 3.5 and 4. 0, both the versions for Windows Forms support client profile. Similarly, if we go to another client desktop application type, which is a Windows Presentation Foundation WPF application, you can see under properties under target framework that it also supports .NET 3.5 client profile and .NET 4.0 client profile. Now, in contrast, to client application as the name is primarily .NET client profile, how about server applications? Means web applications. The, in today's world, most of the applications are written either on ASP.NET or ASP.NET MVC. So let's give a look first to an ASP.NET application and to verify that we are in ASP.NET, you can see the extension .ASPX means we are in ASP.NET app you say right click, go to project properties for that, look for the target framework and amazingly you will not see any .NET client profile flavor for target framework over here. The reason is because this is a server application. So it is optimized for all the binaries which are required on the server side, means you need a bigger footprint than what is required on a client side. Similarly, if we switch back to MVC right over here and you say right click and project properties once again and you go to target framework again you do not see any any dotnet client profile flavor here as well because this is a server application and for server there is no need to have a client profile you need a bigger and larger footprint of binaries unlike what is needed for a client applications like windows console wpf and similar other type of projects you might have. Now, there is another interesting aspect. Now, let's go back to those project types which supports .NET Client Profile. In our case, I can choose console application here and I go to properties 
and you go to target framework and if you notice from dotnet 4.5 and onwards there is no support for client profile what does it mean does it mean that if i pick dotnet 4.5 now does it mean that i'm going to get the larger footprint means it will install system.web and everything which i don't want of course and that's why the beauty of dotnet client profile was to give you a smaller footprint for your target framework installation and that's why under target framework we were able to see various flavors for dotnet framework 3.5 and 4 one was the full full length larger image of framework that was dotnet framework 3.5 right here and there is a smaller footprint highly optimized for client applications like console windows wpf class libraries and so on and that was 3.5 class profile client profile sorry now here in dotnet 4.5 there is no need to have client profile because microsoft changed their mind and they said how about this why don't we recognize what type of project you are working with and we optimize it by ourselves for you at the time of deployment so dotnet 4.5 and onwards there is no need to have dotnet client profile if you want to learn a little bit more about client profile you can go to my blog here on my passion for dotnet and you can search you can type dotnet client profile and you will see understanding dotnet client profile a post there and you can read a little bit more about dotnet client profile and why dotnet 4.5 doesn't support client profile and something similar so thank you very much for watching this and i appreciate it